In this video, uh, I am going to show you a basic MapReduce implementation. The datasets I use, I extracted them from this page right here, Kaggle.com. The da specific dataset I use is World Food Facts. And these right here are the different columns from that specific file. Now, um, the primary key right here is the code. So in my implementation, I'm not going to use that one. What my program does is, it takes two specific fields. In this case, the URL, which is going to be the value, and it also takes the product name, which is going to be the key for my implementation. What the program does is, it takes the key, and then it sorts the values for in alphabetical order, order, and then it concatenates all the URLs that are at are related to the specific key. This right here will be the code. These are the import statements where I added the Hadoop library yard necessary for this program. Here is the mapper class. In the mapper class, we take line by line and state it by a comma. Then we get the specific tokens we need for our implementation, which in this case will be the value, which is the URL, which is the second column. In this case, it's a one because each array starts from zero. This right here is the key value, which is the product name. Like here I'm doing a basic cleanup, which is just eliminate all the quotation marks and also trim the value so it won't have any spaces on left or right. Then here in the reducer, after everything is separated uh, by keys and values, I'm concatenating all the values here that contains a certain URL for the same key value. Here I am invoking the main functions. This is a mapper class, a reducer class, and define it as a text, the different values of the output. And here is the specific path that I'm using. I embedded them on the code because I'm running it from the IDE, but ideally you should just use the arguments from the main function and then add them in your invocation from the terminal. Now, this is a program. Here I have the different codes that I'm using. Here is a small extract of the data. It's a normal CS CSV, delimited by commas and quotation marks. As you can see, it's a limited file. URL second, etc. And here is how it looks the key and the value. Now, if we go to the code, since the primary key is not the name, we have some names that are empty. So that's why we're doing this validation right here. If the key is empty, do not generate an output. Now, we run the program. And here in the output, we show different information about what's going on in the table. We have, for example, the amount of bytes that were written, that were read. Um, we have the length, specific information of the program. We have error codes in case we have any. If not, then we just display error zero. We're saying, okay, we are mapping values, we're reducing values, etc. And then the output file is going to be here, the file with specific 
the folder we specify. If we go there, you see the output file is, cre is created. And here is the output of the farm. We have odd characters, especially due to data that's not correctly cleaned up in the insertion. So that's why we have those odd values. But so as we can see, we have everything sorted in alphabetical order and we have the specific URL for that code. In case that we have more than one, like this one, we have two URLs for that one, separated by spaces as we specified here in the output file, in the program. This will be this concatenation right here. 